Good morning, everyone. This is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had a good night's sleep. Today is October 17, 2023. And I've got my devotional book here, Jesus Calling. But before I do that, here is my focus for today. I can get it. Tuesday. It says, our focus is your kingdom and your will on earth as in heaven. And we are discussing his supremacy and reign. That is what our focus is on today. His desires and his heart. I thank you all for being here to do these devotionals with me. But this is the book that I am writing all the memory verses in. So we're on Proverbs 18.24 is our memory verse. One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother that is our memory verse remember we will be getting a new memory verse tomorrow during the bible study at 9 a.m central All right, we're going to start up here. October 17, anxiety is a result of envisioning the future without me. So the best defense against worry is staying in communication with me. When you turn your thoughts toward me, you can think much more positively. Remember to listen as well as to speak, making your thoughts a dialogue with me. If you, if you must consider upcoming events, follow these rules. 1. Do not linger in the future <clears throat> because anxieties sprout up like mushrooms when you wander there. And two, remember the promise of my continual presence. Include me in any imagery that comes to mind. This mental discipline does not come easily because you are accustomed to being God of your fantasies. However, the reality of my presence with you, now and forevermore, outshines any fantasy you could ever imagine. Here are the verses. Then, then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore, if I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. How much more valuable you are than, that, than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? That is Luke chapter 12, 
verses 22 through 26. <clears throat> now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. That is Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. I thank you for these devotionals, which point us back to you every day. I thank you, God, for that. I ask you to be with all who are following along with these devotionals with me. Bless them, Lord. Bless their families. Be with them. Help them in their lives. Help them deal with their physical ailments, if any. Be with all those who are living in pain, Heavenly Father. Be with Israel, Heavenly Father. Let all the hostages come back, be returned to their parents, their loved ones, safely. Heavenly Father, I ask it in Jesus' name. I thank you all for being here. I will not be, uh, I have to make this one short today. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. And I will try to come on later today. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow morning for the devotional. Thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.